Why? Welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today is going to be day one or video one uh, of our dungeon guide little like miniature series that we're gonna do which I'd like to create a dungeon guide for every single dungeon uh, in currently in Skyforge. So I'm gonna start today off with Fenton Rift because I feel that this is the most profitable dungeon to run. It's you get the most resources from it from the the least amount of time and it's really 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 it's just simple to do. So, of course, everything I'm doing is on my difficulty for my prestige. I'm 13,000, actually 13.6. Um, so I'm going to go through, I'll explain the bosses, explain the mobs, and I'll show you guys some skips and how I pull the instance. Now, of course, not everybody can pull the same exact way that I can, and I understand that. So, first off, you want to switch over to Mantide Trophies, as these are Mantide mobs. And we're going to go ahead and start. So, as usual, all white mobs will hit very hard uh, in this dungeon itself. Uh, just like any other dungeons, white mobs are pretty pretty nuts. And the bosses, actually, in this one, there's only one boss, is very, very, very easy. So, pretty much, I'm going to pull here. And, you know, majority of classes, I would say, can do this. You just have to understand your class and whatnot. Um, we're just going to do little pulls for now, and then I'll branch off to bigger pulls for you guys after. Mini K, can you please shut up? Okay. You can see here, if my if my shield isn't up, I literally get hit for a third of my life, so, you know, easily, if I mess this up, then rip, rest in pepperoni, GG, well played. We're gonna keep pulling. Now, these guys aren't too scary, um, it's just, um, the only annoying thing, really, about this part is in Thetan Rift itself, you're gonna have these winger queens, and they will constantly spawn these leeches, and they will not stop until you eradicate the queen. So that is your goal, is to run the dungeon and keep on going and going and going and going. Um, because th the longer you stop, you know, the more mobs that start coming. And again, these mobs will hit you for like, you know, 7,000 damage depending on, on what your prestige is. Moral of the story is the mobs hit you, you know, very, very, very hard. Obviously, any slams that mobs try to do such as that, you don't want to get into. I think there's a side boss up there. Shut up, Mini K. But we're not interested in that right now. We just want to do this for the rewards. Okay, so this I'm going to do a rather large pull. Uh, this is not a pull I would recommend players to do. So these are the regular Mantides that you don't want to tank. You have two different types of the Mant, actually three. So in here, you've got the Guard. There should be a... I guess it's not in this one. But there's a Guard. So there's ones that's uh, Pulsate and AoE. There's another one that buffs all of them, which is right there. And there's another one that actually creates an orb and throws it at your face. And you have to dash to get out of them. And hopefully I'll be able to show you that uh, right here. So I'm just going to grab every single one. Right about here. I'll drop my AoE down. There's the orb. You just dash out of it and you're good. You can see there, there was a one that was pulsing, which will that'll kill me in one hit on my current character if I get hit by the pulse. Mini K, can you shut up for like five minutes while I make a video? Thank you, that'd be much appreciated. Alright, so from here, uh, we've got another pack where uh, it's gonna. Hey! Alright. We've got another pack um, with the uh, queen, so she's going to keep spawning mobs. So we're going to run through. We're just going to grab this. And now this is important. If you're able to do this, I'd highly recommend it. Just because the longer you wait, you don't get out of combat here. In that and Rift, you literally never get out of combat. There's certain spots like here. If you hug that corner right there, you can get out of combat. Because you're going to have the queen again, just like so, constantly spawning ads. Uh, the queen would be right here. So we're going to make sure we kill her. And there's an example, 17.9k damage, I misplayed it and got one shot. So that's a prime example of what I was talking about with the pulsating explosions uh, of the Mantide guards. They hit very, very, very hard. But I mean, it's good for the video, right? You gotta see how much damage the mobs do, Kappa. All 
fights. And let's go grab the last pack, which... Oh, actually, I guess we killed it. Alright, and then we've got the one and only boss. Now, this boss is not difficult at all. He is uh, actually very, very, very easy. He really doesn't do anything. Um, and we'll go into everything he does right now. So, um, the things that this boss does, he's got an ad phase, he's got a laser when he's like sub, I don't know, five bars of HP. And he eats you up and poops you out in a cocoon if you get stuck. So, for the most part, you can literally just kite him. He does, doesn't does hurt you at all much with autos. Um, the only thing he's going to do again that I was telling you about, which is scary, is this part here. He'll spawn adds, and in this game, adds are always really dangerous. So you're just going to kill him, and the adds die. They're not, they're not strong at all. So you can see here, I don't know what he's doing. I think that's, that's his spit right there. There you go. If that spit hits you... Um, then you'll actually get, you'll, he'll poop you out into a cocoon and then you're frozen and you have to like spam space bar to get out or something. I don't know exactly what you need to do, uh, 100%, but it's not that bad. Um, sometimes you'll bug out, I don't know how it happens, and you get stuck in his face right here, and you can't move, and you just have to tank everything, and it, that's really unfortunate. His last thing, let's see if he'll do it. I'm gonna try to not hit him. I don't know if he, I've showed you the laser. There's a laser he does as well, but you can just dash out of that, and that doesn't matter. And that's pretty much it. That's that's that and rift uh, that and rift for you guys. It's a really fast dungeon. I mean, I died and I was explaining, and I did in six minutes. I think my fastest clear is like 502 or something. But again, the rewards you get for that and rift is crazy because the game, the game, uh, the way it's like the way the resources are distributed, not the gear. Remember the the rewards, that just the resources, um, is distributed via how long it takes you to run the dungeon. So if you look at Thetan Rift and how long it takes to clear it, let's go ahead and pop it up here really fast. All right, if you look at it and you go to solo missions, everything here would be like uh, 14 minutes. You can see 14, 14, 10, 15, 14. And you can see 14s aside from the difficulty. Um, so like 14 and let's see, 14 and 14, they're, they're the same thing. 285 to 285. This is 14 to 15. You can see this is a... Actually, this one is technically more. But it's okay. It's, that's pretty much the way it's usually gauged off of. Uh, Facility 902 is... 15, it gives 306. Tai's Temple is 18, it gives 366. Um, but, and Rift is counted as 25 minutes. But I can run it in 5 minutes. So I can run it 5 times what it's set. Like, 5 times as quick as it says... And you just get insanely fast rewards for it. You know, anytime there's a times two, you go run it. Anytime there's a resource you want, go run it. Um, because people often say, you know, like, oh, well, you should just do Port Nari. I can run Port Nari in under five minutes. And I'm like, I can run Fenton Rift in five minutes. Like, I could probably run Port Nari in, like, four, maybe three and a half minutes. But still, that's not comparable to Fenton Rift. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. You guys have any questions? Feel free to let me know, although I'm going to be gone by the time this video uploads, so hopefully everything's okay. So, hope you guys had a wonderful time, hope you guys enjoyed yourselves, and I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.